ladies and gentlemen, the opening bout of BCW Tough Luck live in Norfolk, Virginia is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Annapolis, Maryland, weighing in at 222 pounds, Joe Key. Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Ken Dixon, Dirty Money, with the special guest referee, Brandon Scott. The Green God Papadon defending his U.S. Liberty Championship. But it all begins right here with Joe Keys versus Boar. Bell sounds, we're underway. Open a contest at VCW Tough Luck. Senior official Ron Mills assigned to this contest. It's Boar versus Keys here in Norfolk. Once again, the size of Boar against the crafty veteranship of Joe Keys. Boar trying to impose his size right out of the chute. But Joe Keys, of course, wants to keep the pace a bit slower. You've seen Boar pick up some momentum throughout his bouts in VCW, and that has certainly allowed him to gain an advantage over his opponents. Of course, also being maybe the largest man on the roster. And again, gaining more and more fan support here in Southeastern Virginia. 
Joe Keyes, formerly in tag team competition primarily. And again, over the last few years, ever since breaking off from the current BCW Heavyweight Champion, Ken Dixon, has been very impressive in singles competition. He's also made a name for himself all throughout the United States, but still looking for that taste of gold here in BCW. Keyes tries to create some separation here. Goes for a big risk out of the gate. I don't know if he executed exactly what he's looking for, but he does ground the six foot four bull. Moore trying to change the momentum here. Joe Keyes looking to stay on track. And Keyes gets planted right down to the canvas. Look at the extension of the leg of Boar. Just putting Keyes right down. And now Boar looking to stay on track here. And look at the power of Boar. The momentum sends Keyes up and over the top rope all the way down to the arena floor. That's 220 pounds of sheer muscle of Joe Keyes. And he's thrown around like a rag doll by the bouncer Boar. And Ron Mills and Minneris are his count here, and Joe Keyes once again the veteran. Smart tactic here to slow down the pace a little bit. Utilize all those 10 seconds to get back inside the ring. I didn't know there were water breaks here in BCW, but Joe Keyes once again finding more time. And now Keyes looking to find an opening, and Boar, maybe a lack of experience right there, looking out towards the crowd, trying to feed off of the momentum. And Joe Keyes saw a light at the end of the tunnel, and now he's looking to run right through it. And there is a reason Joe Keyes lasted all the way to the final two in the Liberty Lottery bout. And there's also a reason why he has not had his shoulders pinned down in nearly three years, but bore unloading right here on Joe Keyes. Once again, you see the force behind those blows of the big man. And Boar comes right in. And Keyes once again sticks his feet up. Tries to come off the top for the second time. But Boar learned his lesson after the first opportunity. And once again, Boar showing off the power and strength. Elevates Keyes. And his face meets the top of the turnbuckle. And once again, nearly decapitates him with that big boot. And Boar starting to roll here in Norfolk. You hear him feeding off of this crowd. He might be setting Keys up. He's looking to put him right in position. He's looking to get Keys right to the heart of that boar zone. And Keys sidesteps him right here. Well scouted by Joe Keys as Boar collides with that steel of the ring post. There's no padding or protection out there. And Joe Keys once again exploiting the opening as we head back towards the floor. And Keyes, looking to compromise the offense of Boar right there, wrapping his arm around the steel of the ring post. Absolutely no give right there. Oh no, Boar, you see that left arm in a very precarious position. Could do some long-term damage there can Joe Keyes. And more importantly, Keep Boar from 100% in this contest. Keys mocking Boar here. And Keys now, for the third time in this bout, going to the high red district. And Boar, he's going to look to prevent Keys from coming off yet again. And now Boar, not only risking Joe Keyes, he's risking himself here. Keyes trying to push the big man off. Boar still straddling on that middle turnbuckle. And Keyes once again creates separation. Keyes off the top again and collides with the midsection of Boar. Joe Keyes with a cover does not put enough pressure down on those shoulders to get the three. And Keyes now trying to chop down the tree of Boar. Very smart tactic here by Joe Keyes now ripping at the snout of Boar right there. Adding insult to injury, trying to get in deep underneath that mask. Just like Papadon did about a month ago.
And as Joe Keyes is wearing down Gore right here, he wants to return right back here to the Norfolk Masonic Temple on April 30th with a possible championship opportunity if he can get by the big man. And Keyes puts Boar down yet again and showing off that powerful physique is Joe Keyes. And Keyes once again mocking Boar here. Boar in a precarious position. And Keyes bringing a lot of leverage right down on the back of the neck of Boar. A lot of force coming down there. It certainly creates some sort of whiplash. And Keyes too worried about the people in attendance instead of the task at hand. And that's leaving Boar the door slightly ajar here. And Keyes trying to pick up the pace yet again. And Joe Keyes rotates Boar and drives the knees right into the lower back. One, two, and a two and a half for Joe Keyes. You can see the aggressiveness starting to rise as this match wears on here by Joe Keyes. We're approaching the 10 minute mark here. He's exchanging words with our senior official, but once again, Keyes needs to remain focused if he wants to pick up this win. Very little margin for error for either competitor here in this position. Keyes, not normally someone we know is a high flyer, but now maybe for a record fourth time for Keyes, all the way up to, and four! Has that one well scouted, he sits out and plants Keyes coming right down from the top. Boar is down, Joe Keyes is down. This opening contest hanging the balance here at Tough Luck. You see Ron Mills administering his count here. He's at four, nearly halfway home. Joe Keyes staggers back to his feet. Boar back to a vertical base. Both men at an even keel here. Boar trying to keep some momentum going his direction. Keys in the far side corner. There's Boar. Collides with Keys. And now picks up Keys with ease here. And plants him right down yet again. The lower back colliding with the canvas. Here we go. One, two. And once again, Boar failing to put pressure on those shoulders. Joe Keyes, one of the most powerful men in BCW, is going to need to go full bore, if you will, to be able to put Keyes out. As Boar might be looking to take Keyes for a ride here. We saw this in the Destruction Derby. Thought he was going to try to plant him with the choke slam, but instead. Looks like Keyes somehow reverses course. Keyes off the ropes, and once again grounds Boar. And Joe Keyes, all the way up top yet again. Boar in a supine position. Keyes has him in position, and instead of colliding with Boar, the head hits the canvas. And once again, Boar finds enough to create an opening here to keep this belt going. The VCW fans showing full support for Boar. As Keyes, back to his feet first. Oh, and Boar pops right up. Keyes wasn't ready for it. Boar picks him up and takes him for a ride. Plants him right down. Nearly six feet in the air coming crashing down as Keyes struggling to his feet. Boar's getting in position. Keyes is, the target's locked in. Keyes is in the Boar zone. He collides with the spear, folds him right in half, hooks the leg, two, three, and Boar does it again. Track. Let's take a look at some of the action here. Joe Keys goes for it all, and it's
Instead of colliding with Boar's head, hits the canvas. Not what he was looking for. Boar showing off some impressive power and strength throughout this bout. Has key right in the heart of the Boar zone. Holds him in half, and that's enough for Boar to get right back on track for the victory here in Virginia Championship Wrestling.